He's very thoughtful and he's very caring. Um, I think those are his two major strengths. It's easy for him to do that because it's just inbred in him. It's, you know, just his way of life. Worcester Country Club was established in Worcester, Massachusetts in 1900. The beautiful 18-hole course hosted the first Ryder Cup, men's and women's U.S. Opens, and has featured names such as Hagen, Jones, and Rawls. As the head professional since 2000, Alan Belden has worked to create a family atmosphere that revolves around top-level golf that is appreciated by all who work around him. Alan is, to work for, he gives you a license to make a mistake, which is nice. So he doesn't put a lot of pressure on you to do uh, the wrong thing. He lets you make your own decisions, and uh, if they happen to maybe not uh, coincide with his or, or, or work with the clubs, he just pulls you aside and allows you to make your mistake and explain why we don't do it like that. Starting with the hips and not the shoulders and the hands, so starting from the ground up and not the top down? Yes. So, because um, when you say... Here, when so then, and then I have to... I'm, I'm he's a to... phenomenal teacher. And um, he has that unique ability to um, be fair. And I, I'm sure all the head professionals in the New England PGA know how difficult it is to manage the wishes and the desires and the personalities of 400 members. And Alan, in a tremendous way, is able to make uh, his decisions in such a way that, that everybody feels that he, he's fair at all times. From providing an example of leadership around the course to maintaining a caddy program, Alan's do-as-I-do do and not-as-I-say approach has been effective in maintaining a positive work environment throughout Worcester Country Club. You know, I'm learning a lot from Alan. You know, he's just a professional's professional, and uh, he, he does so many things that just aren't noticed because he does them so easy and it's just part of his daily routine and uh, he's doing things with tournaments and daily items that look like efforts at other places I've been and here it's just part of the of his daily routine and it's it's just a, a step up or two that that was unexpected when I got here. One of Alan's strongest qualities has been his ability to bring the past into the future of the club. Alan uh, embodies the uh, tradition, Ray LaJoy, at our club. Tradition of excellence and service, and uh, he's filled those shoes extremely well over the years. Allen has served the New England PGA community well through many executive positions within the section. The Professional of the Year Award is the section's highest honor, and it looks to highlight professionals with these same leadership qualities and those who care deeply about their club and its members. We had a member by the name of uh, Tony Pendicio who was here when I got here in 96. Uh, Tony contracted Parkinson's disease um, probably about 2000 or 2001, which ironically is what ended up taking my father's life. Um, and Tony was here um, one night having dinner on the patio with his wife, and I stopped to speak with him, and he said, um, He said that one of the things that he really wanted to do was to just be able to play one more hole. So I made a deal with him that if he came out <clears throat> the next day that him and I would go play golf. And uh, he did. And Tony and I played four holes together. And uh, when we came off the fourth green, which obviously he didn't hit every shot on every hole, but when we got off the fourth green and made it back to the cart and uh, got him up here um, back to his wheelchair, he gave me a hug and uh, said that that was one of the greatest moments of his life. I'm sorry. I swore I wasn't going to do that, but <laughs> um, that's why we do what we do. It's what, uh, it's what makes getting up in the morning worthwhile. <laughs>